The Hadley Institute for the Blind and Visually Impaired presents iFocus, tips on using the vision accessibility features in iOS. In today's installment, we'll look at adjusting the text size. Hello, my name is Douglas Walker. Today, we will check out our dynamic type feature. All right, if we're not yet familiar with exactly what dynamic type is, well, Dynamic type simply means that we have the ability to enlarge our text size throughout all of our apps. And uh, I tell you, that is really fantastic. Okay, during today's iFocus video, I'll be using our zoom or magnification feature because most of what's on our screen is just too small for me to see. Now, if we're not yet familiar, with how to use our Zoom feature, then we're really going to want to check out our beginning Zoom Gestures iFocus video. It does a pretty good job of getting us quickly up and running with our Zoom features. Now, to turn on or to activate Dynamic Type, we'll need to head to our Settings app. And uh, our Settings app is right here on our desktop. So uh, we'll go ahead and just touch our Settings app. Great, our Settings app has now opened, and uh, in our right panel here, we'll need to go down to our Accessibility button, so we'll just zoom in here, and we'll just tap our Accessibility button, and we'll tap. All right, and again, here in our right panel, we need to head to our Large Text button, and uh, we'll just tap. Okay, now we'll just need to enlarge our screen, and we need to toggle on our large text button here to the right. So we'll just go ahead and tap it to turn it on here. All right, so now that our large text is enabled, we have a slider bar here for adjusting our text size, or, of course, what Apple likes to call our dynamic type. And uh, so if we grab our adjustable bar and pull it to the right, we'll notice that our text size, our sample text down here, will start to enlarge. And of course, if we pull it to the left, We'll notice that we reduce the size of our text here. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and we'll just pull this to the right here and we'll drag it to the right. Great. We can already see what a huge difference this has made in our text size here. And that's pretty great. So how about we move to a couple of apps to sort of see how this has changed our text size. So we'll just tap our home button to move out of our settings menu here. And we'll head on over to our music and we'll tap our music here. Great, so we can already see how large our font's there. That is fantastic. So we'll move out of our music. And one of our apps that has always given us trouble, of course, is our calendar app. We just touch our calendar here. We can see how huge our fonts are here in our calendar. It's pretty fantastic. We can move out of calendar. We'll check one more app out here. How about our news app? We'll open our news. We can already see how the Huge the fonts are here in our news app for us. Wow, how great is that? You know, it's pretty easy to see that having dynamic type across all of our native apps is a real game changer for us low vision users and can really help to reduce our eye fatigue. Again, my name is Douglas Walker. Take care and I'll see you next time. For more from the iFocus series, including many other topics of interest to individuals with vision loss, visit the videos at Hadley page on the Hadley Institute for the Blind and Visually Impaired website at www.hadley.edu.